May I request all of you to sit down and uh, um, enjoy the program. Uh, we're going to get started pretty soon. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to thank the Bengali Association of Greater Rochester for inviting us to come and do this program. So, as it was indicated, this program is uh, Natyanjali, which is an Indian classical dance uh, in the Kuchipudi style, presented by Shastri Bhagavatala and his students. As we go through this program, I will uh, add a few words about Shastri Ji, his guru, and also the um, and also his guru and uh, Kuchipudi itself. A few housekeeping items prior to getting started with the program. Um, in case of emergency, please use the door in the back and um, uh, leave the auditorium in a very organized fashion. And also we request that you don't take any pictures, especially flash photography. <laughs> And uh, no videography as well, because most of the dances that are being performed uh, are copyrighted materials, so we would uh, not want you to uh, videograph the material and post it on YouTube or any such thing. So please, uh, no videography either. Thank you for your cooperation. So please allow me to say a few words about Kuchipudi dance and Sastri Ji's guru first. Uh, before we get going with the program. So Kuchipudi is one of India's eight main classical dance forms. The other ones include Kathakali, Mohini Atam, Bharatanatyam, Odissi, Kathak, Manipuri, and Satriya. This art form is centuries old and derives its name from the village in Andhra Pradesh, India. The Sangeet Nadak Academy of India currently offers classical status eight dances. Kuchipudi combines fast rhythms and fluid movements creating a nice blend of control and strength and delicacy. I'm just going to stop here for a second because there's a quite a bit of uh, noise that's coming from the other side. So if you, if you don't mind, uh, before we get going, there's quite a bit of uh, thank you. Appreciate that. The history of Kuchipudi dance can be traced to the second century BC, but it, it was only in the 14th century AD that the dance form became widely popular through the dance dramas of the legendary. Siddhendra Yogi, a learned and religious poet who composed verses and choreographed dances in praise of Lord Krishna. Siddhendra Yogi confined Kuchipudi to only male Brahmins since he believed that women might embellish sentiments which will dispel Kuchipudi from its spiritual tone. As such, Kuchipudi dance became an all male oriented and female roles were also played by men. Indian classical dances strictly adhere to the principles and rules laid down by Bharata Muni in his Natya Shastra ages ago. Subsequently, following years of neglect, Kuchipudi witnessed a dramatic revival after India's independence. Its present form is the result of the new vision of such great gurus as lay Vedantam Lakshmi Narayana Shastri and Padma Bhushan Guru Vempati Chinna Satya. Guru late member uh, Vedantam Lakminarayana Shastri, a distinguished master in the field, paved the way for revolutionary changes by introducing women into the Kuchipudi dance field. Formal training was imported to women, which gave the style the much needed drive. Solo items were choreographed, compositions of eminent poets were included dancing with the feet settled on rims of a brass plate became popular. While other Kuchipudi masters contributed a lot to the further development of Kuchipudi, it was Dr. Vempati Chinna Satyam who brought worldwide recognition to this unique form. So you're going to watch uh, uh, some of this today uh, performed by uh, Shastri Bhagavatala's uh, student and including himself. 
let me say a few words about uh, Sastri Ji's guru before we get going. Um, Dr. Vempati Chinna Satyam is a great legend and master of Kuchipudi dance form of Indian classical dance. Mr. Shastri Bhagavatala, director and choreographer of tonight's dance performance, Natyanjali, studied under the tutelage of Dr. Vempati Chinna Satyam. Dr. Vempati was born on October 15, 1929, into a family of dancers in Kuchipudi, a small village in Andhra Pradesh, India. He studied Kuchipudi dance under the guidance of great teachers such as Mr. Vedant from Lakshminarayana Sastri, Mr. Tarapalli Peraya Sastri, and Mr. Vempati Perasatya. His devotion and dedication towards Kuchipudi resulted in the embark establishment of the dance schools of Kuchipudi Art Academy in Madras in 1963 and Kuchipudi Kala Chetra in Vizag in 1985. He composed and choreographed 15 dance ballet, ballets and 80, 180 solo items. His academy produced thousands of students over the years and many of whom started their own dance schools worldwide, thus following their guru's footsteps by propagating the art internationally. Dr. Vampati attained international fame and received many awards and accolades both nationally and internationally. Some of them include Asthan and Atyacharya of Thirmala Tirpati Devasthanam, Kala Kala Prapurna from Andhra University and National Award from Central Sangeet Natak Academy, New Delhi. Kalidas Puraskar by the government of Madhya Pradesh and Kalai Mahamani by the government of Tamil Nadu. He was honored with a doctorate degree by Andhra University and Padma Bhushan, the highest civilian award by government of India. He performed in many countries including the USA, Russia, Canada and many European countries. So the artists that are going to perform this program today have put in a lot of effort and invested a lot of time in making sure that it's a successful program for you all. And we once again thank you for inviting us to do this. Uh, I hope uh, we'll have a, uh, an auditorium that can silently listen to the song as well as the dance performance. That would be greatly appreciated. So now we move on to the much awaited program which is going to be presented in two parts. So the first part of today's Kuchpuri Reporter has, has solo performances. The first one is Ranga Puja. Ranga Puja, where in Kuchipudi artists purify the stage, followed by an invocation song to Lord Vinayaka, Tandava Nritya Kari, a Kuchipudi traditional prayer. Ranga Puja concludes with a song traditionally sung before the dance recital, invoking the blessings of goddess Bala Tirupurasundari, presiding deity of Kuchipudi dance form. The ragam is Mohanam and Thalam is Adi. The dan dancers Ananya Gobala, Srihita Kantala, Shreya Mocharla, Visalakshi Nutalapati, Kavita Rajkumar, and Sri Devi Ramkumar. Lord Ganesha is portrayed by Pranav Bhagavatula. And the choreography for this song is Sastri Ji, Sastri Bhagavatula. Let's start with Ranga Puja.
in terms of musical and rhythmical patterns led by the Mirdingam Beats. The song Kolu Vaikavu is an excerpt from Devulapalli Krishna Sastri's ballet Vipra Narayana which describes the beauty of Lord Ranganada of Sri Rangam saying that even a thousand eyes cannot perceive all his brilliance. Ragam Ramapriya, Talam Adi, dancer is our Sastri Ji himself. And choreography is Guru Dr. Pempati Chinnasatya. Close up one, zoom this up.
Bim, Bim, Bim,
Sastri is the son of Sri Bhagavatula Lakshmi Narasimhan, who is an expert in Mirdangam and Gadam. So our Sastri ji, apart from teaching Kuchipudi, he also teaches Mirdangam for our students in the temple. Born in Kuchipudi but raised in Hyderabad, Sastri received training from Padma Bhushan Guru Dr. Vempati Chinna Satya and participated in many of his ballets like the Ramayana, Hara Vilasam, Srinivasa Kalyanam, and Shira Sagara Madanam, to name a few. During his college days, Shastri directed and choreographed Kumara Sambhavam, a Kuchipudi dance ballet. And part of that ballet is what we're going to see next, in the second part of the program. Apart from performing dance, Sastri also provides Natu Wangam to other Kuchpudi artists in the USA. This is the beats said in words that you have been listening to. And he does that when uh, there is a live program uh, uh, with a live orchestra. Sastri learned Mirdangam from his father. His other hobbies are writing songs, poetry, and composing music. Sastri Ji holds a master's degree in computer science 
and is currently working as a senior program analyst at the Rochester City School District. Sastriji has been teaching both Kuchipudi dance in Mirlingam at the Hindu Temple of Rochester since last seven years after moving to Rochester. So we are so happy to have him in our midst to teach our kids uh, this wonderful art form. He lives in Pittsburgh with his wife Jyoti and son Pranam. I don't know what we will do without Jyoti because she organizes all of it for us and keeps us on track. Sastri Ji feels fortunate enough to hail from the traditional family of Kuchipudi village and to be a student of the legendary guru, Dr. Vampati. Sastri Ji has been teaching this art form voluntarily since the last 16 years, following in the footsteps of his guru, and feels blessed to be able to teach both dance and mirangam at the Hindu temple of Rochester. Just to go a little bit off script, I hope I can handle it. <laughs> It, 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 he has been a great example for all of our children and uh, I mean uh, he has donated all the proceeds that he gets from teaching these classes to the Hindu Temple of Rochester and uh, so apart from the traditional learning that they have in schools and from our own households they learn from gurus like uh, Sastri Ji uh, as to what is important in life and things like that so it's, it's been a it's been a great honor for us to be able to be part of this and uh, learn, for, for my daughter personally, to learn from him. Okay, let's uh, talk about the next part of the program, Girija Kalyanam. So this second half is Girija Kalyanam, which is the depiction of the wedding of Lord Shiva with Goddess Girija Parvati. Girija Kalyanam is an excerpt from the ballet Kumara Sambhav, which was directed and choreographed by Sastriji. So what is the story of Girija Kalyanam? Distressed by the death of his beloved wife, Goddess Sati, Lord Shiva renounced the world and began his penance with deep meditation. In the meanwhile, Sati was reborn as Parvati who grew up longing to marry Lord Shiva again. Manmada shot an arrow of spring flowers at Lord Shiva and woke him up from his meditation. Angry Lord Shiva opened his third eye, symbolizing destruction, and turned Manmada into ashes. Radhi, Manmada's wife, along with Lord Indra, king of the gods, and other gods prayed to Lord Shiva explaining to him that Manmada did this for a good cause. They beg Shiva to forgive Manmada. Shiva then grants life back to Manmada and then marries Goddess Parvati. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to follow each scene. So I'll say the scene one. There are five scenes. So I'll say scene one, they'll perform. And then behind the screen I'll state the scene two and they're done. So each scene I will say a few words and then uh, they'll perform. Okay, scene one. Parvati plays with her friends singing praises of Lord Shiva. <laughs> Parvati, Tapo Garis Kudaila Shankaruniki, 
ಸಪರ್ಯಲುಚೇಯ ವಿನಿಯೋಗೀಶೆ ಅಕ್ಷಿ ತರುಣ ಮುನ ಅತಿ ಸೌಂದರ್ಯವತಿಯೈನ ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ಸನ ತಿರುಳತೋ ವಿಹರಿಂ ಸುಮಿ ತಂಬು ಎತ್ತಿದ ನಿನ Thank <laughs> you. 
Parvati and her friends tried to persuade Manmata not to shoot arrows of love at Lord Shiva. Manmata ignores their words. Oh, my God. 
scene four, while Lord Shiva is in penance, Manmada shoots arrows of flowers symbolizing love at Shiva, disturbing his penance. Shiva gets angry, opens his third eye, and burns Manmada into ashes. Lord Indra, Rati, and other gods pray to Lord Shiva, explaining to him about Manmata's good intentions. Lord Shiva calms down and grants life to Manmata. Scene 4. Yes, I 
celebrate the marriage of Shiva and Parvati. The scene 5 will be followed by Mangalam wherein today's Kuchipudi repertoire concludes with a Mangalam during which the dancers offer salutations to God, Guru and the audience seeking their blessings. Scene 5 followed by Mangalam. Thank you. 
Good evening, everybody. Those of you who don't know me, my name is Jyoti Bhagavatla. And on behalf of Kuchipudi Dance Group, uh, I would like to thank you all for being here to encourage and bless all our dancers. And now it is time to introduce all the dancers to you all. First, I would start with Pranav Bhagavatala as Lord Ganesha. Srihita Kantala, dancer. Ananya Babala. Priya Kamshetti. Shreya Mocharla. Sri Devi Ramkumar. 
విశాలాక్షి నూతలపాటి మేఘన ఊళ్ళపల్లి శివాని దామర ఉషా కాంతాల అజ్ మహమ్మద జయశ్రీ మంగళగిరి అజ్ రతీదేవి కవిత రాజ్ కుమార్ యాజ్ పార్వతి అండ్ అరుణ భార్గవ యాజ్ శివ లాస్ట్ బట్ నాట్ ద లీస్ట్ గురు శాస్త్రి భాగవతుల ద డైరెక్టర్ ఫర్ టుడేస్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ there are a lot of people here today that we would like to thank for making this event a huge success first and foremost i would like to thank the bengali association of greater rochester especially samyarup bhattacharya and uttara bhattacharya for giving this opportunity to perform here on this special occasion we would like to thank mrs lakshmi bhagavatala from karne is a she is a friend and mentor to our family who has helped us in designing and creating the flyer and brochures the colorful uh, brochures that were given to you today are done by her and we are happy to say that she is here in the audience today with us to watch this program she came all the way from carving thank you lakshmi ji so next the most important task for these kind of programs is Mr. Dev Anderson, we couldn't have done this without your help in technical and sound part of the show. Mr. Dev Anderson, thank you so much. Today you are able to see all these beautiful dancers on stage more beautifully. That is because of this person's help. He is none other than Vithal Sanapalagaru, who worked above and beyond to make the lights work very well. Thank you, Vithal Garu. The next person I'm going to introduce needs no introduction. She is one and only Raka Ghosh. Thank you Raka for all your help in bringing up, you know, with the makeup and support. Every time she will call me and ask like, do you need any help Jyoti? I'm there for you. So she's always there to help for any problem. The program cannot happen without an MC. Thank you, Ram Kumar Garu, for accepting to be MC for today's show. Thank you so much. I would like to thank Saraswati, who is our Parvati's aunt, who stepped in to help us with all the props. She, you did an awesome job, Saraswati. Thank you so much. Also, I would like to mention um, here, all the props were provided by like all our friends, Pushpa Sunkara, Sri Lata Mocharla, Kusuma Ullapalli, and, and many more. I cannot, if I start reading the list, like there are many. So, thank you, Raj and Kotesh for helping in the backstage to, to set up the props. It would be unfair if I don't mention about these people. Firstly, thank you, Aruna Bhargava, for accepting to be part of this show as Shiva. Next, thank you, Usha Kantala, for be, accepting to be as Manmada for this show. And Jaya Mangalagiri, who came all the way from farming. So she usually comes to our classes every week, all the way, she drives all the way from farming every week for our Sunday classes at Hindu temple. Thank you, Dath Mocharla Garu and Raju Ullapalli Garu and Vijay Kranthala Garu, Sham Nothal Pati Garu for taking video and pictures and also Mohan Mangalagiri Garu who is husband of Jaya Mangalagiri for, for taking the pictures today. We appreciate all our friends for their hard, for all the students for their hard work and dedication, all the families and the parents for their continuous support. And we would like to express our heartfelt gratitude to all our friends who have helped us directly or indirectly to make this program a success. Thank you all. She thanked everybody.
but without her hard work, none of this is going to be possible. She just, I mean, we asked the same question. Each, imagine each family asking the same question, and every husband asking the same question again, right? So she just puts up with all of that and said, patiently, patiently sends the text again and again just to make sure everything is coordinated. Jyoti, thank you very much for everything that you do for this class. On behalf of the parents and the students who uh, train with uh, Shastri Ji, uh, we would like to show our uh, appreciation and gratitude. Association of Greater Rochester would also like to show their appreciation to Satri Ji and Jyoti. Association, small token of our appreciation. We are honored to have you as a performer on this stage. Thanks. Thank you all for attending. I am sure you all enjoyed the program. And of course, something that you are waiting for is the food, right? So we, dinner is uh, ready in the, there's a conference room next door. And well, I 